Hand sewing is a great skill to have in your toolbox. I'm going to show you a couple stitches that every sewer should know. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Let me show you two versatile hand stitches, slip stitch and the blind hem stitch. For both of these, you only need a single thread, so I will pull out about this much. Too long of a piece of thread will get twisted and knot up. Cut the thread and tie a knot. Slip stitch is not only great for hemming, but attaching lining, trims, and so much more. Begin by hiding the knot within the hem allowance fold. Starting a quarter of an inch away, grab one or two fibers from the fabric, and then take the needle straight across into the hem allowance fold. Then slide the needle along the inside of the fold, exiting it about a quarter of an inch away. I will do a couple more stitches. Again, grab a thread of the fabric, and insert your needle into the hem allowance fold. Notice how all of these threads are in an even diagonal. And on the front side of the fabric, they're almost invisible. To finish, take your needle back through where that last stitch just came out on the hem allowance. Pull the thread until you have a loop, about this size, and run your needle through twice. Pull the thread tight to make a secure knot. Leave a thread tail and insert the needle into the hem allowance to bury it inside. Now you have a perfectly slip stitch hem. Even with contrasting thread, you can't see the stitches on the right side. Let's move on to the blind hem stitch. Although you can do this with a sewing machine, sometimes sewing the hem by hand looks better and you really can't see the stitch from the right side of the garment. So it's a true blind hem. Start by folding back the edge of the hem allowance about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Grab one or two threads of fabric from inside the hem allowance. Then, moving forward about a quarter of an inch, grab two threads from the fabric. Then go back to the inside of the hem allowance, grab a few threads of the fabric, and go back across to the other side of the fabric. Continue to go back and forth, being careful not to pull these threads too tight. Take a close look. You can just barely see the stitches from the right side. To finish, I put my needle straight across, slip it through the loop twice, pull it tight, and hide the thread tail. That's it! Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can click on the eye in the top right corner of this video to learn more sewing techniques or to find the supplies I've been using in this video.